Oops, sorry, didn't turn the mic on then. Welcome back to Rome 2 Total War. I don't know if you heard any of that then at the beginning, but um, uh, it's only a few seconds anyway. Right, okay, oh, I've got to make a decision about this wonderful, super duper, excellent spy that I don't seem to be able to do anything against whatsoever, which is just weird. Okay, I can't assassinate him, I can't manipulate him. Shall I try it? Coercion, 8%. Temptation, persuasion, chance to manipulate. I'm going to try a ridiculous one. Persuasion. 4%. Everything else seems to fail against this guy, doesn't it? I try and assassinate him. Uh, manipulation failed. Oh, well, okay. At least I didn't die. He tends to kill people when you get anywhere near him, doesn't he? So, hmm. Okay, I've written a little note for myself saying that the spy that's up here, not the spy, I think he's some kind of agent, this guy up here, needs to move towards, towards the, um, I don't know what they're called, the... These guys here, um, the Frizzy or Frizzy or something, but I don't think so. I don't think I need him up there at all. I think I need him perhaps down here somewhere doing something useful, perhaps eventually against him. I really don't know. Anyway, these guys here, um, I want to bring them round onto the road here. Uh, no, not there. I want him, say, here. Uh, on the road, please. In there, he's not on the road, and here, he's not on the road. On there, he's bang on the road, or should be. Please be on the road. Have further orders. Right. Okay. Um. Right. Turns until this unit's fully replenished. Two. Okay. Right. He's on twenty at the moment. Anyway, so I don't think I'll get any more mercenaries. Although my technology is almost. No, it's not almost done. Four. Oh, I thought it was closer than that. <laughs> That's the one where we get cheaper mercenaries. You see. So I'm wishing the time away. Right. Okay. Uh, these are all done, uh, as I remember, on my last video. What I'd like to do um, is sort out some food. Um, I wonder. No, okay. Um, I'm going to sort out some food, but what I want to do is get some uh, around these areas here um, that I've just taken. I want to get some. Uh, I want to get an edict in. Now I've had a look at um, uh, Pannonia, and uh, Pannonia seems to be the one that's the happiest you know, out of all of mine. Um, this one. And, th and it's also got an edict, you see, so there's no point in it having an edict if I can use it elsewhere, so I'm going to cancel it there. So if you look here, they're doing very, very well. They're on plus, well, they're on plus, and they are getting 21 per turn. Uh, so they don't need it, do they, really? But is it Syria, or is it, is this the one? No, it's not that one. That one's actually not too bad, it's the other one. It's, um... Is it this one? No, it's not that one either. That one is actually okay. I checked them out. They're not brilliant, but they're not in danger, really. The one that seemed to me... Is it this one? Yeah, that's the one. Rebellion in seven turns. Yeah, this is the one I'm most worried about. I mean, I know it's seven turns, but it's better off than all those other places. Oh, sorry, it's worse off than all those other places. So this is the one, really, that I need to get the edict into, I think. Recruitment costs, um, wealth from all commerce, I don't think so. Food, yes. Wealth generated by culture. Um, and plus 10 public order. It's got to be worth having, isn't it? Okay, so I'll put the edict in there. I don't think there's another one that I'm particularly concerned about at the moment. It's just that one. You see, it's part of um, the area, the whole kind of area here where... Um, you know, spies can come in here and corrupt places and stuff and uh, his spies just seem to be absolutely wonderful at the moment and I'm pretty worried that I can't get um, that I'm not going to be able to get this ship so he's going to last forever, even when I've defeated his armies I think this ship is still going to be dangerous to me now, I've already had um, three quarters of my movement which means my full movement would be to about there which means he should be able, on a normal movement, to get to about there. If he runs, he can double that, so he can get beyond and to there, and possibly get to a point where I'm not going to be able to catch him. So what I'm going to do is advance a little. Not all the way. I'm just going to advance, say, to here. Um, about there. So he can't get past me there. He's got to go all the way around me at the top. That's the thing. But next turn, I should be in range so that I can actually attack him. Um, hopefully, with a little bit of luck. You see, I think we're covering, are we? 
Uh, mm, we're not actually. He can sneak through that little bit there, can't he? Well, I don't want that to happen. So just pull it down there a little bit. I think we've just about got it covered now. Maybe just a little bit more. Moving out. Yeah, OK, that's covered now. In other words, he's got to go all the way around, and I'm not sure on a run move or a, a quick move that he's going to be able to get all the way around me and get far enough into here for me not to be able to reach him. I think I should just about have that covered. Anyway, I'm guessing, aren't I? So, Right, um, food is the next thing. I need to make sure that I, I, all my places are... I'll start here. I don't think this is the most important place, to be honest with you. It's not one that I can do it in. Well, what I need to do, really, is look up all the places that are um, nomad camps and then get them um, moving on to food. Um, because it's also a bit of a concern of mine. I've only got 24 now. If you remember the Suebi, they're losing um, men all the time through um, lack of food. So when I take their two territories, I'm going to take on board their, also their lack of food. I don't know how big it is, their problem, but um, it, it, I've only got 16, so I haven't really got much to be able to cope with it with. And especially if he starts damaging my fishing ports that raise food and things, you know, then I need to be careful. So I, this, I think, gives me, yeah, it's a minus in public order, isn't it? I don't think I need to go for the minuses in public order. I think I can just go for the um, irrigate these. Here we go. I can go for a farm on six, where it was before three. Let's go for those. Um, those are the only ones, really, that I'm interested in. Unless, of course, I can build something from scratch. You know, if there's actually a, a gap for me to build something in. So that's what I'm looking out for, those nomad camps. There's another one. Um, no, I don't want a Quanat. It gives me... Oh, do I go for it? It gives me growth. Um, I, OK, I'll go for that one, simply because I've got plenty of money at the moment. So let's go for that. I don't really need it, but uh, this one, farm, yep. Um, this one, um, irrigated farm, minus four public... Or I don't want to mess about with that now, basically because I'll, I'll be taking all your time thinking about it. You know, can I afford the, the minuses, etc. So I don't want to do that. So No, not going to fiddle about with those. Just an... Oh, hang on, there was one there, and I missed it. Um... Right, so what does this one do? Nope, no good anyway. Um, any others? Of course, next turn, I'm going to have those buildings that I was destroying um, that I can then replace with um, with nomad camps, perhaps, or something else. I really don't know. Um, OK, how are we doing? Can't see any more. We're still about halfway through the Empire. We haven't gone any further than that yet, so need to go just a little bit further so that we can um, make sure that we've got everywhere covered. At the moment it doesn't look like uh, anything else. No, 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 no. That's another one where I need to get rid of a military building, that last one. Uh, probably this one as well. Why have I got a military building in there and I don't need it? Ridiculous. Okay. Um, in here? Nope. Okay, we're about three quarters way through the empire now, so um Right, there's another one. Um that can be a farm. Good. So what's that? I've done about four, haven't I? So three fours are twelve, so it's looking like we're gonna increase our food by about twelve. I think it goes from six to nine, doesn't it, when I get those farms. So from a plus 24 to an additional 12. That's pretty good, isn't it? 50% 50, 50 increase on our food has got to be a good thing, I think. OK, I need to have a look, really, at the ports as well, the fishing ports. They give me big minuses as well, you see, so I really need to have a good look at those and make sure that all's well. Um, now, we're back to here. I can never tell if any of those are damaged or anything. OK. Right, I think probably done it now, have we? We must have done, because I started here, didn't I? I started, you know, bottom right map there. I started way over to the left, didn't I, there? Um, and I worked from there, so I can't see how there can possibly be any more. Mm, do I risk one of these? That's quite close to the front as well, actually. How happy are they? They're not happy. So, no, I'm not going to do that. There are probably some where I'm getting extra bread, where I don't really need it, but having said that, um, I've only got a plus 24, like I said, so the entire nation needs it. And I presume it adds to the entire nation. It's not just for that particular region that's struggling. I don't know that, but we'll see. OK, well, we're ganging up here. My spies have done everything that they possibly can. He's losing men hand over fist, if that's the way to describe it. Um, and next turn, we ought to be able to 
take perhaps both of the Suebi regions and completely wipe out the Suebi if the ships play the game. Anyway, let's see what happens on the turn end. Uh, no technology, nobody to upgrade, don't think so. No characters, etc. No, I don't think so. Right, well, I can have my cup of tea then, can't I? Well, this... AI is deciding what it's going to do. Actually, no, because nothing's happening at all. It's just sitting there. So, <laughs> um, hmm. I'll be interested to see what that ship does. Can it get all the way past me? How far past can it really get? I don't think it can go all the way past me, round me, and then the other side. I really don't. Um, I, the other thing I don't understand as well is if there's a bread problem. Okay, on ships you have provisions that last a while. Oh, maybe they can fish. Maybe that's what it is. But um, the ships, of course, don't suffer any kind of food attrition. Or well, they don't seem to, anyway. He isn't, is he? Not from what I can see, anyway. So, hmm. I don't even know what he is, but I think he only had a fishing village. Oh, it looks like he's going south to fight me there. Yeah, I think he only had a fishing village, which means that he can't have any more than, well, what I've got, really, which is um, an archer unit, isn't it? Right. Okay, um, just realised my phone is dying, so let's get that one charged. What I have to watch out for on this one is those buildings that I decided to demolish, because um, I really do have to make sure that they are... Oh, hidden agents exposed. Oh, I don't think I'm too worried about that. Sabotage. Ludigar. Aha. Aha. What did they do? Attack. Severely damaged a building. Let's see what building it is. I bet you it's something that gives happiness or food. That's what we'll be going for. Ludigar, what did he attack? Building, no, it's not that one. Unfinished building is damaged. Windcatcher, that's public order. He wanted to affect my public order. Ha! But I was ahead of him. So, I, this is what I don't understand now. It's how to deal with that. Um, that one's alright. So that one, that one's not damaged. Okay, so I've got to do something with it. Unfinished building is damaged and all construction on it has been halted. Select it and click the repair button to fix it and continue the construction. Trouble is, I think I was deconstructing it from what was there before, but I don't know that. Cancel construction. You see? So I click it and it does that to me. So now I have a damaged building that I can't have. So what I can do, can I, is convert, dismantle, or repair. Well, I don't want to repair that, so I have to convert, dismantle. So I'm going to go for a wind catcher again. So, wind catcher, unfinished, see, and it now says it's damaged. So I can't do that. So what I have to do is demolish it. Oh, come on. Is... I just have to get rid of it completely. I can't do anything else. What's that say now? Building will be dismantled once your turn is ended. Left click to cancel device. Forward. Right, okay. Now let's see how happy this place is, or not, as the case may be. Oh dear, it's not good. Stable! Aha! Minus 20 buildings, squalor. Uh, that'll be certain types of buildings that I've got in there, I should imagine. But I'm getting a plus 20 for happiness, so it's got to be good. Military presence... Uh, provincial instability minus one per turn. It's going down, so it's not good. Mm. Okay, we're on minus 80, <coughs> but we're getting plus six per turn. So I'm happy with that. Doesn't seem to tell, or does it? Does it tell me about the edict on there? Military presence, provincial instability, try buildings, difficulty level, change per turn. Doesn't tell me, does it? It really doesn't tell me that I'm getting that edict. Provincial edicts, edicts issued five of five. You're currently unable to addition to add additional, well, to issue additional one. Um, provincial edicts, edicts issue resolve. Next. Doesn't tell me which one it is. It just shows me that picture, doesn't it? Which is, I don't know which one. It should be food. Well, I'm puzzled. Um, because I asked it to have the Bread and Games Edict. Unable to issue, issue additional edicts. But 
it doesn't actually tell me which edict I've got, does it? Well, never mind. Uh, population surplus, that probably means I can build something, so let's go and have a look at that then. Uh, yep, it's this one here. What can we build in here then? Food, perhaps? No. Um, uh, wealth then. Uh, let's go for wealth. This one. And have a look how happy we are. Or not, as the case may be. Uh, yep. Mm, okay, all's well. Military sabotage attempt. Attempt? That's good. Um, where was that? Ah, he tried to slow down my army and failed. Mm hmm. Trait gained. Unhappy populace. Where's that one? High Ursia or something. Right, okay. This is probably because some agent has done something, I would imagine. Uh, right, public order. Stable, though. We're getting plus four every turn. So, why are they unhappy then? What's wrong with them? Does this give happiness? Minus four food. It gives growth. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Well, oh, this should be a good thing, shouldn't it, when that's built? Yeah, I, I think I'll leave that. Hidden agent exposed. Construction report. Well, let's see if there are any... Yeah, there's a naval yard, but... Ah! That'll be in the north. It is. One's Regius. Which means that my ships can now... Um, my, my fleet, rather, in the north can recruit better ships. Trait gained. Um, right. Authority, because he's trustworthy. Unhappy populace I've looked at. Uh, motivated population I've probably looked at. Doesn't matter anyway, as long as they're happy. Um, okay, um, what do I want to do now? I want to gang up on the Suebi, don't I? I want to wipe them out if possible. Let's look at the ships first. No, he's staying away, isn't he? He's staying just out of my reach. He ain't stupid. Okay, if a normal move is just to the other side of him, that means... I'm just wondering, if I go to there, I'll be able to reach him next turn, but he won't be able to get all the way around me and get into my territory. I don't think so, anyway. Why aren't you moving? Yes, you are. Okay, you're thinking about that one, aren't you? Yeah, that's because I spent so much time thinking about it as well, I think. I was really sort of doubtful about that. Sort of, oh, do I do this or not? Right, okay, so my normal move now would be about to there. Which means his normal move... Ah. Is to there. But he's got to go round me. And then, if he does a run, he might just be able to get way over to this side here. Can he avoid me actually hitting him? I don't think he can, you know. Anyway, recruit units. No, we're in the wrong sea for it. Damn. This isn't the one with the... Um, what's that? It's not available for your faction. Building was dismantled once you turn his end. Hang on. I asked that to be dismantled before, didn't I? That should have been dismantled already. So I'm puzzled by that, but never mind. Um... For now, though, it's not these areas, is it? It's this one down here somewhere. Mons Regius is sort of up here, isn't it? That's it. That's why I can't do it. It's why I can't improve my ships. But never mind. Oh, we're in the right position. So, um, next thing I need to do... It's a shame I can't get his ships because his spies are going to be a problem for me. But um, if I bring my armies down here, I should be able to wipe out this town here. One problem might be that he's got an army around here. And I don't know if he has. But if I take that territory, it might show me those armies. I think it will. OK, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is bring my back unit here over to here to see what happens. This is my least good unit. He might have packed it with other troops. But if he has, it doesn't really matter. Oh, we're going to walk in. Look at that. Easy. Battle deployment. Um, <sighs> do you know, I'm tempted to fight it because I don't think I'd lose any men at all in that. And I've got 2,726 men involved in that. If I do um, an auto-resolve, 
Oh, 2,726. If I do that, I lose 10%. 272 men. 272 men, when I wouldn't lose any. I've got to fight it, haven't I, really? Okay, I'm going to fight this one and then bring you back afterwards because there's no reason to show you. I might just pop you in and, you know, so you can see what's happening. But you know what's going to happen, don't you? I mean, it's going to be... His units are all depleted. They're down to about half, I would say. These, wouldn't you? So it's really... It's not It's not um, 7, 10... It's not really 12 units. It's 6 units. Well, each one of these is capable of getting rid of 2 units. So, I mean, that, that's for, they can get rid of eight units themselves. So, these units are going to be like nothing by the time we go in there. And then, whatever's left, my swordsmen are going to be any of these spearmen. You know, so, uh, it's going to be easy for us, I think. But, um, anyway, okay, I'm going to get in there, and then I'll show you the results. Back in a second, folks. Well, on this occasion, he seems to be sensibly offering battle to me. So, let's make a mess of him, then. <laughs> Um, I don't quite know why he's chosen this tactic, um, if indeed it is a tactic or just desperation, just don't know. Anyway, point is, uh, we're going to circle him, we're going to go round him, he's going to get knackered, uh, we're going to charge him in the centre any minute now, provided it allows me to move my troops quickly enough all at once, which it should do, and those round there as well. So we should be ready to charge any minute now. Okay, Spearman against his um, Germanic tribesmen and everybody else, I don't know. So, Okay, you can take those out at the back there, please. You can take these out, please. Yep. You can go for those as well. Yes, please, come on. Don't mess around now, please, chaps. You, you, um, you, um... You guys here as well, through there. You also through there. The horse over there, please. Attack those, thank you very much. Yeah, you in there. Okay, good. Well, I don't know why you lot aren't engaging, but you're not, so okay. Um, you guys there, all into the flank of there. Thank you. And you as well, all into the flank of there. Very good. And that should be about it, really, shouldn't it? Oh, why aren't you attacking anybody? Uh, see, look, these have just stood there again, haven't they? My flanking troops just stood there and did nothing. Just watch the battle evolve in front of them. How stupid. Here's another unit that's done nothing. Look at that. Oh dear. So we're going to have lost loads of... Lo Here's another one that's done nothing. Just stood there. Why does this happen, we ask ourselves. Right, okay, General, you're going to have to go charging straight through the middle of there because we can't have those Germanic youths taking the mick like that, can we? Okay, well, it's right, fairly quick, fairly short order. Um, I think everything's gone now, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just do an end battle. And hopefully we haven't lost 270 men. I didn't concentrate on it, so I have no idea. I was a bit surprised. I was very surprised, in fact, when I found out that they were coming out to face me, an army like that. I lost 117 instead of 270. 2,700 deployed. Um, so 1% of that is 27, isn't it? 27 into 117. What about 4, would we say? Four, four and a half. Okay, so what's that? Four, four and a half percent. I'll take that to a ten percent any time. I really will. So uh, we lost quite a few of the spearmen there. Um, that's probably because the swordsmen didn't go in and help them like I asked them to. So that's very, very disappointing. But okay, what can you do? Anyway, they're poorer quality troops, so I'm really not so worried about that. Um, his troops managed to kill 35 and 10 nothing managed to do well 28 and 35 are the best results that he got um, I, I've got swordsman there with 30, 49, 62 uh, is one of the spear units, 42, one of the sword units. So, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty pleased with that. Doesn't look like the horse lost anybody at all, does it, really? Um, and those slingers did incredibly well, killing 111, that's unbelievable. And 84, 29 and 61 for the archers. They did really well as well, didn't they? I think that's partly because my, um, uh, my flanking troops came into it. Um, it he started... To well, he did. He diverted away from the central attack, didn't he? And he went out towards the wings, uh, which exposed him, I think, to, to my firing. Um, I think that's probably what happened anyway. Um, but I, I really don't know why my troops won't charge when I asked them to. You'd have thought, really, there'd be some kind of an order where you could just say, charge nearest unit, and they'll go for that, wouldn't you, really? Rather than, you know give them an order to, to charge when the enemy comes within charge distance, maybe? No, perhaps not, but 
yeah, I mean, I, you'd have thought really you could group order your central line, wouldn't you? You know, saying charge forward at nearest enemy to front or something, you know, rather than having to give every single one an individual command. But oh, I suppose it makes it a little bit more gamey, doesn't it? You know, the fact that you're actually doing something like that. He killed 115 out of the 117 I lost. That's pretty good when you think about all the arrows and um, stones that were flying around the place, you know. So, yep, I'm pleased about that. So, occupy there. And that's the first place taken. Increasing rank as well. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, do I sort these out now? Might as well while I'm here. I'm using up video time. Um, but I'm hoping that... Uh, yeah, well, food. Um, what am I getting in here? I can't get any of those. Okay, so we'll just destroy that. Ah, we're in a completely new place. And this is the other one. This is the Frizzy, or Frizza, whatever they call them. Aha! They're part of the same province. I don't think I knew that. Right, can these reach? Can they actually reach? They should be able to. I, he doesn't seem to have any armies around here now, does he? Um, I, I'm not even going to use my spy if I don't need to use him. Because I might be able to use him to, say, kill a general somewhere. Or something. I don't know. Uh, right. He can reach. Wow, look at this lot. <laughs> but don't worry, I have a plan. That's why I used my back army before. Continue siege. Good. I could have waited and just starved them all out. And I did consider it, you know, to be honest. I thought I'd just go straight for that frizzy and have a go at them. But, um, okay, let's get these off uh, run mode, because I don't need it. Um, and we'll just run them behind, keeping them on the road, I hope. Just there. Yep. They'll give assistance, and they'll stay on the road. I know it's not important to be on the road here at the moment, but it will be when I take the territory, which I'm highly likely to do. But what I don't understand is, where are all these other armies coming from? I thought maybe you'd move them up this way to go and attack here, Rugion. That's why, by the way, I've left this army back here rather than bringing it forward, because I can always run it up to Rugion to cover that. So this army is covering those two places, because the enemy could have gone this way or that way, so he's covering the two. I didn't want to put him on the road in between, just in case somebody could get there quickly, but also um, because I didn't want to lose anybody in the cold up there, you know, but just in case it happened. Okay, let's see now what the odds are. I always thought this was going to be a... Oh, we've got it now. Auto-resolve, and that is 60% loss, 66, 59... Yeah, it's looking good. Um, right, continue siege. Now what I want to do is bring up these guys here from the rear. I think they're going to be able to help. I'm hoping to use my spies against his spy. Oh, we can't reach. We can't get anywhere near. Ah, now that is a surprise. I thought I'd be able to reach. I can't get there. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Um, I'm going to have to run. What a pain that, hey? Um, can I help in that assault if I'm up there? I hope I can. On the move, my lord. Ah, this is not working out the way I wanted to. Um, if I attack him now, does that third army come into it? Oh, I doubt it. Um, no. Right, okay, I can't know anything about that. What a pain, he's going to have armies that get away. Um, or will they? I don't know. Um, I, I'm going to have to auto-resolve this because it's going to be two armies against all these armies. It's going to be. A p I know they're only small armies, but it's going to be a pain to do all of that. And it's it's going to be easy enough to win. Um, I've got loads and loads of slingers and archers. Two, four, six, seven, not including the horse archers, uh, plus the reinforcements. Eight, nine, ten. Um, uh, ten against this lot. I think we're going to absolutely murder him, aren't we? So. Yeah, I think then um, that's going to be an auto-resolve. I just have to suffer those extra casualties. It is a pain, isn't it? Um, no, let's just encircle for a minute, though, just while we think about 
moving these. See if they can get any closer. My lord. They can't help with that attack. Um, what about these guys? Can these do anything? They certainly can't reach, I know that much. But can they run? No, they can't do anything. Blast. Okay, um, I was hoping to completely wipe out the sewage people. I can't do because of these anyway. Cause I can't get to them, can I? So. Hmm... This is a bit of a... He's going to stand there forever, isn't he? I, I'm just going to have to auto-resolve this to take this out. And then keep him there, but keep these armies around here. So if he retreats this way, then we can still take him out. I think that's the only way. I thought I was going to be able to reach there. I really did. But it ain't going to happen. So, what do we do? We take this out and then destroy any of his armies with our spies afterwards. If we get lucky. Right, auto resolve. And what do we want? 66, 60. I think it's 66 we want. Okay. We'll lose 34% of our army. A third of both of those armies. What a pain. I should have waited a little bit longer, shouldn't I, really? One more turn would have done it. Did I lose any uh, any units completely? No. They all suffered pretty badly, though, didn't they? So, okay. Who survived? The general's dead. Uh, but some units survived. The generals survived. The generals survived. Damn. Okay. Uh, well, let me move now. I'll let to have a look, see what happens. Um, okay. Occupy. Yep. Now, let's see who... Right, he moved. Right, okay. And he's moved. I know he's there. I think they're both there. I think they're the same ones. Um... Okay, the army that was in there can't get out. The garrison can't get out. There can only be these two armies here. Which means I should now be able to wipe them out, if I can reach, with these. And I can. I can reach there. Um, I hope I can reach there. Um, okay, try it. It's the only thing I can do. Just try it. Maybe I should have kept that army out, that other army. Oh, we can reach. Excellent. Right, OK. Well, they've already retreated once. This is going to be an easy auto-resolve, and this will destroy both his armies, I'm convinced. 98%, 99%, 98%. So I'm going to go for 99 And um, Both of those should now be destroyed. Yes, they are. Right. OK, now I should be able to see everything that's in that region now, which means... Um, I should be able to see if he's got another army heading towards Rougion. I'm saying that like French, aren't I? Kill captives. Yes. Good. Now, no other armies. I think that means that he's had it other than those ships. Now, um, I've got to do something about this, of course. Over to there. Um, okay, and then here. Yep. Always go for that one, don't I? Uh, there's one in here that... Yeah, public order, that's good. Uh, right. I never understand when he's got this triangle on here. What does that mean? Not available to your faction. Well, none of them were available. Have I chosen a place that I can't get? Let's try that again. Oh, I know. It's because I'm destroying it. It's still showing it until it's destroyed. That's what that is. Okay, good. Um, well, it's not good because I'm losing men here now. Because we're in a cold place. So I need to get them onto a road if I can. It's not going to let me move them now. Blast. None of them can move. Can he run? He can. Excellent. Right, OK. Um, where should we run him to then? This place? Maybe? Is that the next target? Maybe it is. I think Frizza is most likely to be the next target, even though it's not the place I most want to take. And I am trading with them. So I think really we ought to head towards Liguria next and straighten up this line a bit. I think that's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? Um, Frizza, by the way, only have um, a, a fishing port. They don't have a military port. 
which makes me feel quite safe. Um, okay, down to perhaps here. Is that road? I think that's road. Okay. I don't want to lose those elephants. Command, right, we are replenishing now. Those elephants are going to take three turns. But that's okay. At least they're not going to all die, are they? What do I do with How him? May I serve no, I can't run them now. So they've had it. Um, these, well, not had it, but they'll lose men to attrition. These seem okay in terms of attrition, so that's good news. I need to get rid of his spies now. He hasn't got any more um, towns which means that he can't uh, recruit any more spies, I don't think. He's got he's got one here, hasn't he, as well? Um, I am no one. What do I do? Assassinate or what? Let's have a look first. Assassination, 22%. I'm not going in against him unless I have a really good chance of taking him. Right, 28% chance. That's pretty good. What about this one? No, hang on. This one. Parthia? Okay, assassination, 18, not good. Manipulation, 23% chance. So, so far, the spy on manipulation is the best one, isn't he? So, oh, wondering why it wouldn't let me move then. These can't reach, I don't think. No, they can't get there. Damn. He can't either. Oh, he can. There was also one coming down, him from up there. Let's see what he can do then, this one here. Right, assassination, 21%, it's pretty good for an assassination. Manipulation, 25%. No, nope, so far the nearest spy is the best on manipulation at 28% chance. So I might try him. What about here? He can reach, and he can... Assassination, rubbish. Manipulation, rubbish. So, no, it's going to be the nearest spy then, see what he can achieve. Um, right, so it was assassination was 22%, manipulation was 28 wasn't it? Yes it was, let's try that then. This is my best shot. Hindered. Right, okay. Um, that just means you can't do anything next turn, I presume. Um, well... Maybe we can do something else with him now. Can we assassinate him now he's hindered? I don't know. Assassination, 18% chance. Is that an improvement? Um, I don't remember. I really don't remember now, all these, what they were before, and comparing them. 21% chance of assassination. Manipulation is 25% chance. Coercion. He's already hindered. Should we try that as well? Okay. If he's hindered, it should go in my favour, shouldn't it? You'd have thought so. Hindered twice. <sighs> Can we assassinate him then? I need to get rid of him. He'll just spread unhappiness, cause all kinds of problems. 18% chance... Ah, oh, let's give it a go. Oh, no. We've failed. Well, at least he survived. Um, hmm. Right, okay. I think this guy's pretty rubbish, actually, to be honest. I don't think there are any other spies around, are there? But somebody must be operating in this area. Um, I don't know who that is, but... Um, oh, I don't know. Do I just try and take him out? Where are my other spies? I thought I had some around here. Did you know? I had one really close to this town. Here he is. At your service. Right, okay. Assassination. 15% chance, not good. Manipulation. 21% chance. Should we try that one? Okay. Failed. We're so rubbish at these, aren't we? Um, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to end up losing them. If I if I go in at say a three percent, they're just going to get murdered. I just know they are. Um, 
assassination. One, two... There's absolutely no point whatsoever sending him in there. The, the, he's, he's just, you're just sending him to his death. It's like men against... It's like boys against men, rather. Let's move him over to here, then. We'll go and have a look around. Um, and... Oh, hang on. I thought I saw another one, then. No. Hmm. There's somebody operating in here, as well. Ah, I'm down to 18 on bread. Right, okay, well let's, um, before I forget myself, go and check the, um, no, not that. What I want to do is check through and find out which ones need buildings, because I destroyed some buildings, if you remember. Um, let's see, any other places that need buildings. Um... Come on. Why aren't you moving? Right. Okay, it's because I'm down to 16, you see. You remember I was concerned about it. Um, I don't want to lose too many. See, I think all the places that I destroyed buildings in, are, I am actually building them up now. There are a couple here, aren't there? But they are... You know, they're the ones I looked at before. Um... It's just that 16 is a bit concerning. When you get that low... Ah! Now there's one. That would become... Uh, well, that would go to squalor, basically, if I hadn't, if I didn't deal with it this turn. So what are we getting in here? It's, they're very happy. They're fairly happy. They're on plus seven. Um, I think I'll go for... Um, I don't need something for, with happiness. Plus one per turn would be nice, but not necessary. I think we'll go for wealth. I'll go for that one. Yep. Okay. Anything else with nothing in there? Just got to make sure there's nothing that goes to squalor. Um, because like I said, squalor... If I get two places... With, every every squalor place gives you a minus 10 food. So two slots left unavailable will lead to starvation um, in my, um, my empire. Ah! These two would have done it. That would have been the end of it. Um, okay, uh, how happy is this? It's on a plus seven. So I'm going to give them... Tempting to get that, isn't it, as well? More food. Minus ten public order. That would put us in a minus three, wouldn't it? That would give us a plus two public order. Not quite enough. What happened then? Oh, I just upgraded that one. Um... about this? Minus four food. Not good. Um, okay. Food. Uh, public order. You see, if I'm going to get a, a ten on there, it would be nice, wouldn't it, to have more public order from somewhere else. But I can't do it. What about this place? No. Minus public order. Okay, well let's go then for something that's going to give money. Okay, we'll go for that one. Okay, main thing is that nothing goes to squalor. Um, okay. This is why on the construction report it's worth looking out for... Um, not construction report, sorry, the event messages where you see the construction report. When you get your event message that tells you population surplus, that means that there's something that you can build. If you don't build anything in there, that population surplus is going to turn to squalor and give you a minus 10 food across your empire which is bad news because it will wipe out 16 with just two slots like I said before ok, well I think I've done it I think that is it uh, yep, ok, I can keep going through these things over and over and over again and it won't make an ape of the difference right, ok, um, spies where I move the rest of them to. Let's have a quick look up here, them forces, isn't it? Yeah? Um, this one. I am your champion, my okay, lord. where do I want him to go? I could do with him, really, being around this Ludenum place, whatever it's called, so that we can kill whoever is causing us a problem here. Okay, so get him down there. This guy here, he's going to go... No, I'm happy with him there. This one, uh, I'm happy with him there. I think the others are all doing something. 
Now him, he's not doing anything. Um, maybe he needs to come back over here as well. I just need to make sure I've got any spies that are causing dissatisfaction around the place sorted out. Right, okay, everybody else is sorted. It's just this one that I moved, isn't it? I'm curious about whether anybody appears. What does this one do? Military fervour brings word of glorious battles and great victories, inspiring the local populace. Military fervour helps protect local settlements from zealous agent actions. I'm going to go for that. Yeah, I mean, it might make this place just a little bit happier, mightn't it? OK, let's have a look at provinces as well, shall we? Uh, provinces. Damn, I'm up to a long video now, which means I'm not going to upload this tonight. I'm going to be recording this tonight, aren't I? Uh, minuses. Caucasia. And Caucasia is... If I look at the details... 173 turns. They only need one plus from somewhere. Where can they get that from? Here? Plus one public order. That gives us plus five public order. Um, I only need plus one. Plus three public order, plus 100 wealth. Um, plus five research rate. Hmm. 100 wealth. What's the other? Wealth, right. Plus five public order, 50 wealth. This is plus three public order and 100 wealth. That's the one I want, isn't it, really? Okay, and then after that, I think, again, that's it. Oh, Magna Germania. This is the place we've just taken, so that's bound to be unhappy, isn't it? Can't do anything about that, really, but suffer rebellions if there's going to be some in here. Um, at the moment, rebellion in three turns, so, okay, fair enough. Maybe I'll have constructed some buildings by then, really don't know. Other than that, we seem to be okay, don't we? And I think that's it. Oh, hang on, forces just need to upgrade generals, which is this one here. Oh, no, spies, rather. Crazy. Upgrade spies. Um... Right, OK, I need these guys, really, to be good at killing people, I think. That one looks good. Uh, manipulation, assassination, and poison, etc. OK, looking down, I think that's it. No, there's another one there, champion. Well, he's not a champion, he's a... well, he is, actually. Um, is that a champion or a general? General. OK, um, I, I never know with these. Authority, unit recruitment class costs. You know, recruitment costs, cunning, cunning, zeal, cunning. OK. Right. And I think that is it. But I do want to do a turn end, because I want to find out if the Suebi are going to die. I want to know if we're going to be able to get at them. If I go close enough to them to be able to attack them, that means they can go past and beyond me, which is not going to be good. Maybe... I could go just a little bit closer to there because they're going to have to go all the way around me and if they go around me I might still be able to catch them. I might risk it. Let's just risk it in the hope that next turn I'm going to be able to reach him and that he can't go past and all the way around me because he's got to go all the way around there, hasn't he? And then down to here. So I don't think he's going to be able to do that. Anyway, let's test it. Um... Stance. Actually, what is what are these stances? Let's have a look. Stance. Raiding. Campaign map movement range. Minus foot of piracy. Upkeep for all ships. Incurs diplomatic penalties. No, it's no good, is it? Um, naval patrol. Piracy penalties. Melee defence skill for all units. Um, cost of forces movement range to assume this stand. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, it, all I know is he's got to go all the way round there in order to get round me. So if he can reach me, that's to there. He's got to go there. He loses a bit. He f runs to the other side. He shouldn't quite be able to get away from me, should he? I should be able to get to him. Um, right. Can I get reinforcements here? No. And I can't get any more of those either. Not that I should be able to get any more of those anyway. OK, I know it's 49 minutes, but I need to do a turn end because I'm just desperate to see exactly what happens now. Because as far as I'm concerned... Um, oh, actually, this arm... Oh, no, maybe I will leave them there just a little bit longer. I was going to say I could bring those forward now. I'm going to leave them there just a little bit longer because I want to see what happens. 
Right, okay, he's hindered, isn't he? So, okay, let's do an end turn and find out what happened. What's this? Following. Forces and unassigned tradition. Truth of Mithra. I thought I looked at them all. Forces. Okay. Ah, right down at the bottom. And these guys are going to have, oof, I don't know, replenishment rate, do you think? Be good, wouldn't it? What are these? Right, missile damage. Inflicted by archers. Campaign map movement range, I always like that one. Plus charge bonus for, yeah, I'm definitely going to have that one. Charge bonus for melee units as well, it's got to be good. And it's this one as well, isn't it? That had those... Oh no, it's only spearmen, actually. Hmm, well, an axemen, but... Okay, never mind. Now let's see what happens. Okay, blimey, it's late now. Okay. What's happening? Hmm. Now why is it taking so long to think about this? It's not doing any moves for me, or on my behalf. Uh, Gallic Confederation? What on earth is a confederation? Well, I know what it means generally, but... Ah, he's going round me. I can reach him. Surely that now is reachable. Now, if I wipe out those ships... Oh, he's going to run away. Damn, I forgot about that. When I attack him, he can retreat. Blast. I never thought about that. Um. I'm going to end up chasing him all over the place, aren't I? What a nuisance. Hidden enemy agent exposed. Uh, yep, okay, natural causes, agent recovered, thank you, agent recovered, duty calls, thank you. Uh, right, he's going to retreat. And I can't bidding, my lord. block the area with these, or can I? Could I actually block it with those? Let's see, first of all, if I can get to him. I can reach him. But like I said, he's going to retreat. Um, so if I Ready for put those orders. guys, say here, will that block off that area? It's worth a try, isn't it? Destination reached. It does. Wow. I think we've got him. This is the end of the Suebi. If you retreat through me now, I'll be so annoyed. Aha! We got you! Oh yes! You're gone, boy! You're gone! Okay, um, 74. Now, auto-resolve will be 100% remaining for... Is there any point in fighting a battle like that? You know what's going to happen. I'm going to line up. I'm going to shoot at him with these from a distance. He's going to get close to me. My three are going to outweigh his and he's dead. Dead in the water, literally. Well, it's 100%, isn't it? So I I'm going to have to do it. There's no point at all in me fighting that battle when I'm not going to lose a single man. I don't think I've ever seen 100% before on that. Okay, kill captives, yeah? A noble death. Increasing rank. He's escaped. He's damn well escaped. How, may I serve How can that happen? How can he possibly get out of that? That is just unreal. Oh, damn. Well, I'm going to have to attack him with these. That really is unreal. Auto resolve. 99%. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, he's got to go this time. Okay, he uses his absolute maximum movement to go all the way around me. I still pin him in position so he can't go anywhere, and he still manages to escape. I mean, how normal is that? Right, okay, faction destroyed. Good. Increasing rank, naval traditions, thank you. Right, you've lost men now, which is a damn nuisance, but 
I can get all the way back. That's good without even running or going super speed or whatever. Okay, back to here. Good. Right. You can replenish or do whatever you do. Now you, can you actually recruit there? No, not there. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to have to just leave him there, I'm afraid. Okay, well, that is surely faction destroyed, isn't it? Event messages. Well, it said it, didn't it? So it's definitely faction destroyed. Right, okay, good. So no more troubles then from spies around here that I can't kill. Those spies were, were going to be a real headache for me. There's no way I was going to be able to do anything about those. Well, next video, I'm going to have to watch out for these because they're all losing men. Um, this place now, I hope, should be happy. Ah! So I'll get that then, I think, in there just to increase happiness. That's another thing I need to check. I'm going to have to leave a note for myself, actually, to make sure that I check for any empty slots, so to speak. But right, order is stable. Excellent. OK, event messages. Let's just check those, because I might forget that on the next video. In fact, it won't show me these when I restart the game. Population surplus? Population... Right, these are all ones where I'm going to need to add a building. Here, for instance, this is the Magna or something. How happy is this place? It is well and truly happy. 26 there on. So what shall I give them in here then? Uh, perhaps wealth? I could give them something that's going to give them some troops actually. Level 1 armour. Levy camp. I'm going to go for this because it gives me troops. I think I'm going to need troops in there. So, what else was there? Population surplus here. That's this one. And in here, I'm going to... <sighs> right, right in the middle of nowhere. So this just has to be something that's going to give me money, doesn't it? Um, outskirts. I think so. Yep. Bound to be happy here, surely. Yep. Okay, no problem. And war declared. Frizzy and Suebi. What? Oh, great, you jumped in at the right time, didn't you? Right, hidden agent exposed, construction report, uh, animal breeder. Right, I might be able to improve that now. Um, to, where is it? Animal breeder, I can get these now. Wealth from livestock. Horse skirmishes, I want, really want heavy horse. Let's get some heavy horse in region. Um, and I get a bit of extra wealth from it as well, don't I? So, OK, construction report, any others? Quartermaster. Well, that's Rugion as well. Can I do anything with that? I can. Level 2 arm. I'm going to get that. Yep, doesn't give me any minuses. And it will increase the quality of the cavalry that I raise there. So, um, construction report again. Nomad camps. I can probably upgrade those now to farms, couldn't I? So, Okay, no my camp. Let's upgrade that then to a farm. Okay, uh, oh I can't. Growth. Am I going to go for growth then? Okay, I'm going for growth. Hey? What's going on here? Right. Yeah, quite out. Yeah, okay. Always puzzles me that. Okay, right, that, I think that's the end of the construction report. There were some down at the bottom. Farm, 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 eastern pollen. Right, okay. Ignore those. Inspired populace, unhappy populace, troubled populace. Troubled. Why have I got troubled populaces? Um, Sarmatia. You should not be troubled up there. It's stable. They're on minus 44. But they're getting 21 per turn. So what's troubling them? Troubled populace. People in this province are troubled by their circumstances. What circumstances? Um, ah. Now this place desperately needs to have something in it, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to have to look for all of those on you know between videos so I know what I'm doing. Public order's stable. Um, it's getting a change of 27 per turn. So that's doing really, really well. I don't see the problem really in there, but um, it's. Uh, why won't it show me that? Here. Okay, we've got those other things to be built up. In the meantime, I'm going to give it. We're right at the front here, you know. 
what do I do in these places to live for them or whatever? Um, do I just make them happy? I'm thinking I might consolidate these areas. Um, I've got those, and I no. I'm going to spread culture, or whatever. On this one here, um, let's get some food. Okay, because they always had problems with food, didn't they? Sabotage attempt. I'm not worried about that anymore because um, I've got rid of all his spies by defeating his nation of Nice. So, okay, um, looks good. And uh, we're now up to. Oh my gosh, I've gone beyond 60 minutes. Can you believe it? Damn. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's the end of the Suebi. So we got rid of the Gutones very, very recently. Now we've got rid of the Su Suebi. Um, I think Liguria are the ones that are sticking out here. Looking at the bottom right map again, you can see here that they're sticking out there, can't you? So they're the ones that we're going to finish next. Okay. Thanks for watching, folks.